Have you ever wondered how your OBS shift indicator works? It's actually quite simple. This little cable attaches to a small nub on your steering column. This plastic piece screws to your steering column. And as you apply tension, it shifts through the gears. In park, it's gonna have the most tension on it. As you shift down to first, it's gonna have the least amount of tension. If yours is sitting like that, or maybe not visible at all, it's probably gonna be this cable has broken. Sometimes these plastic pieces themselves snap. And sometimes the little screw backs off just over years of use. It's easy to verify what your issue may be. Just pop your uh, dash bezel off and you should be able to see this little piece if the cable is broken, the plastic piece, or the screw is back out, it's easy to change these. If all of this is still intact, you may have an internal problem in your gauge cluster. But there's also a little tensioner on here. So if yours, say maybe you want it to be right on one, or let's just say in drive, maybe it's in the middle, you can adjust this. Over time, these little wires stretch, or maybe, you know, it's a couple of different issues. Maybe this may have been cocked when installed or come loose and cocked itself and let a little tension off. But you can just reach in there and twist that and get yourself back in business. So anyways, hope this video helps some of you guys. I've always been wondering how these work, and I finally changed my cluster because my speedometer wasn't working and my tack wasn't working either. This is my old cluster, and... Just figured I'd post this video, help some guys out. Thanks for watching. Check out my other OBS Ford videos.